Hi guys, this is Vardhan. Welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to explain about Selenium WebDriver. Before that, I need to tell few points for you. You have some basic knowledge in Core Java, then only you can easily understand the Selenium WebDriver. So before configuring with Eclipse, you need to download some files. So I had already navigated the page. You can see here seleniumhq.org. So here you need to click on the download tab clicking on the download tab you need to select uh, you need to download this selenium standalone server first so if you click on previous releases here you can see the list of selenium standalone servers here so i would like to prefer selenium 2.42 because you won't get any compatibility compatibility issues with that in my PC, I had worked with Google Chrome browser only because I had found some compatibility issues with Firefox browser. So I had downloaded the Google Chrome files also. So for this, you need to just scroll down here. So you need to download Google Chrome driver. You need to click this 2.27. Automatically, the page is navigated to this page. So here you can see you need to download this one. After downloading this, in my PC, I had kept all the files in single folder. I will show you. Yeah, this one, Selenium, Java, Eclipse. So here the you can see the list of Selenium files I had keep in single place only because it is easy to access. After downloading this, next you need to configure with Eclipse. So for that. You need to click on your project so my project name is selenium one so i had clicked on it so just you need to go for build path in build path you need to configure build path so i had already added the library files and standalone server here so i will show you so just you need to click on add external jars so here you can see the selenium 2.420 here first you need to download uh, you need to open all library files next you need to open the selenium standard on server these two files simply opening in click on apply okay so now you have configured the selenium standard on server with eclipse so just you can write the script for here before for before that you need to set property because i had said i am working with google chrome right so for that you need a set property for that i i had written i had written that so i will show you so you can do the selenium configuration so this is the script statement Just copy paste. Manually also I can show you now. So it is nothing but. System dot set property. Set property. So here you can see system dot set property. Here the key and the value you have to give. So here key. You need to give the webdriver dot chrome dot driver. You have to mention here in double quotes. After that, you need to mention the path path of the chrome driver. So you had downloaded some Win32 file, right? So I had extracted this in my C C drive. So I had mentioned the path path of that. So in Lost, you need to kept Chrome driver dot exe. After Chrome driver, you need to mention with exe because it is executable file. That's it. Next, we have to import some statements. Import org dot open qa dot selenium. This is the first statement. Next, import org dot open qa dot chrome so if you write the import statements automatically the errors will be identified 
so here we can see the first navigation of the page so for that driver dot get you can see the string url here you can mention the url of the page http google.com this is the first page first url next again i'm going to navigate to another page called amazon.in so before you are going to mention that url make sure that url is correct So here the script for our first program. Let us execute that. So here you need to click on Run First Test Case. So here you can select as he can run as Java application. Okay. So net connection is slow that's why loading the page very really slowly next it is navigated to amazon.in next it will be navigated to facebook.com so after navigating to facebook.com it will be automatically closed because i had given the statement driver.quit this is the first script to navigating the urls in next session i will show how to take the screenshots and how to work with xpath and frames thank you this is the first video of the selenium of mine so if any mistakes is there kindly provide the feedback and do like comment and share subscribe to my channel thank you